Hello guys, how's it going? Okay, so, um, I've been doing this for a little bit and sometimes I flick informational links to other YouTube channels or videos which, you know, might come in handy or sets off a weird thought process in my head. Now this is a lot about the safety nets that um, people have in their lives and it, it, I found it really interesting that this particular video by this guy called The Joker um, he runs a channel called Better Bachelor um, he talks about a lot of guys that have, you know, men that go their own way um, you know, that's just another label for me, it's just, just guys that have gotten sick of, you know, the whole dating thing um, and I find it interesting how in some of the profiles that are there, they said, you know, strong independent person but I want someone to look after me and, you know, to, you know, be a provider. And I'm going, well, that's not strong and independent. Or, you know, you say that you've got a career, but then you want someone to depend on. So that, that kind of confuses me a lot. Um, and then I got to thinking about how everyone has, like, a backup plan and a safety net and how a lot of people get um, hurt with being, you know, the the last choice, the last resort, the final option, the I can't get all these other things, so I guess this will do. And there's been a few um, where, you know, there's there's been a loving partner, and then they find out that, you know, oh, they were the last option, that you know they would have had anyone else but them. Um, so they're basically like a meal ticket, or um, you know, they're, they're not going to do any better than me, so, you know, they're not going to leave me kind of thing and I can do whatever I want um, because they're chumps, you know. Male and female, you know, um, they do this. I mean, jokers come from perspective of male and I, I respect that and that's really cool because a lot of this stuff does happen. Um, but I also watched another channel called Self Sufficient Me and it's talking about being self-sufficient in you know, not everything, but, you know, one thing. So, it kind of got me thinking about all the safety nets people have in their lives. Like, you know, kink-wise, you have safety calls um, in case, you know, you, you go on a, a meeting, even though it's in public, um, and you're feeling uncomfortable, rather than, you know, continue on with an actual meeting, um, then, you know, you, you, make, you make a call or text somebody or something like that and you know they can get you out of trouble um safe words in kink <laughs> we have them all the time um spotters their safety nets as well i've done that for a few people um just being there to spot and, and make sure it's okay um you know i just i just thought in my head though and in this particular instant, in that particular kind of way, how uh, I, I would agree with Joker in that don't don't be a safety net in this day and age. Um, for men, it's like a lot of financial stuff. Uh, for the women, it's it's it can be an emotional stuff. But for men as well, it can be an emotional stuff. I mean, it, it the way you become a safety net for somebody is that you get you get to be the person that's the last resort that's not where you want to be you want to be the first option um, that's what I don't agree with some of my friends um, I said look I, I love you dearly but you know they're treating you like a last resort they're treating you like this because they know they can treat you like this because they think that you don't have anyone else or that because that you like them and care for them they're treating you like this that's that's not cool um, that you get to eventually not have the good parts of the relationship that you get to see all their bad and none of their good and you know that there's good there you know that there's good there and I don't s I'm not saying it happens just like that but it can happen over time where you get complacent you don't you don't always appreciate you know the relationships that you have um, the complexities of life um, and it, it just happens and how you deal with that um, 
I mean, there's been plenty of times when I've been quote unquote the last option, so to speak, or just as like another option, like you know, not the first pick and all that sort of stuff. So when that's happened and I found out, I've like gone, do I want? Does this sort of meet with what I want to do at the time? Because sometimes it doesn't matter if you are an option because you don't want any commitment so you don't want any of the other stuff but if it becomes too much of a drama I'm more likely to go you know what that's not for me I'm out of here as much as it might hurt as much as it might be difficult you've got to look at your own self-care and I've talked to many people as well about this in that if you feel like you need to have someone to complete your life like a partner you probably should look at what it means to you to actually have your life completed and make you happy because I for me it's if you are not enough of a person on your own you won't ever be enough of a person with somebody else um, and I tell people a lot you are a whole person or by yourself you're just incomplete and what I mean by incomplete is that we all grow we all learn we all have things that we we can be and we could always be much better so you are a whole person but you're incomplete that doesn't mean that you need to go out there and find someone to complete you um, you can complete yourself you don't need anyone to do that for you other people that come into your life make it they enhance what you are okay they enhance what you are they don't complete you they enhance what you are now there's a difference between a lot of what I mean I like to be have my own thing do my own thing on on occasions but then also like to have other people and I do things with them and it's comforting and it's nice but that's the thing it's a choice I've made it's a choice they've made we don't have to be together we've invested a lot in each other and it's it's sad when you do call it quits to a certain degree but it doesn't have to be always one or the other I mean I'm good friends with a lot of my exes uh, we still talk and hang out and do all sorts of other stuff and there's no reason to for things to end badly if things are not quite right it's best to talk about it and end it early before you do something really tragic um, and you do something really silly you end on good terms you keep in mind that you are a whole person don't make holes in yourself <laughs> I mean seriously don't make holes in yourself it's a bad thing to make holes in yourself but anyway safety nets what things do you have in place for yourself for you as a safety net not just for your kids and for your family but you've also got to have your own personal safety net um, emotionally financially uh, spiritually is that reliant on other people that's a thing do you have your own safety nets that you can enact and initiate on your own for you some people call it selfish but if you can't take care of yourself you can't take care of other people so keeping that in mind also are you using anybody as a safety net like when it comes down to the, the like the absolute last straw are you using anybody as a safety net if so is it consensual do they know about it you know um, ultimately I have friends and people that can help me in various situations but when it comes down to it I know that if I'm going to change a lot of things I have to get my finger out and do it and I have to have things prepared in order to make sure I can take care of not only myself but the people I care about anyway that's enough for a Friday everyone have a good weekend and um, the restrictions in Queensland are still around um, I think there's a lot of things going on in social media everything's in a tizzy if you feel that strongly about it 
um, you can run, not walk away, <laughs> um, or go social media blackout for a while. Just go media silence a um, couple of days a week if you can um, on any platform that you choose. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'll think about that, whether I want to go a social media silence or not. I'll think about it. But probably not. I'll still upload some stuff, but maybe not check a lot of social media and get my head out of the the frenetic hysteria that seems to be pervading a lot of social media these days. Anyway, you guys have a really excellent weekend. Keep calm, stay kinky, and wear rubber.